Hello, my name's Mark Lee. Whether I already know you or we've yet to meet, I hope that I will be able to get to see you at Accountex on the 13th and 14th of May 2015. I'll have a stand there, A698. Alternatively, or in addition, come and hear me speak on Wednesday the 13th of May in the Intuit Theatre, where I'll be talking about winning work the easy way by being more memorable, which makes you more referable and recommendable. And on Thursday the 14th of May at 4 o'clock, I'll be in the Accountex main keynote theatre talking about how to build a more successful practice using a deck of cards. So, whether I see you on Wednesday or Thursday, or if you come to my stand or find me wandering around, by all means, ask me for some insights, ideas or advice on your issues and challenges. My focus is on helping accountants who are determined to build more successful practices. And if I can help you do that, I'd love to do so. Alternatively, perhaps you want to come to Accountex just to find out how I do this trick coming up now. This trick involves a pack of cards which allows me to refer to an analogy that I often use in my talks and that is the fact to most people many accountants are like playing cards it's only when you have a reason to focus on one of them in particular that you have any reason to recognize them as distinct from any other accountant. Playing cards are different to each other the six of hearts is different to the six of spades even though they're the same number the uh, Four of Clubs is different to the Ace of Spades. The, uh, let's find another red card. Five of Diamonds is different as well. Every card has a reason to stand out once you're focused on the front of the card. Now we'll shuffle the cards up a little bit and I'm going to do a trick that specifically involves four cards that of people often say stand out from each other. The Queen of Diamonds, the Queen of Clubs, the Queen of Hearts and of course the Queen of Spades. Now the question is which one of these four cards stands out compared to the others and I would suggest it's the Queen of Hearts. It's the one that people most often reference when I ask them to think about or name any card in the pack that stands out to them. So let's do a trick with the four queens and show how they stand out from each other. They start all looking much the same, different colours, different suits, but if one of them wanted to stand out then perhaps the Queen of Hearts would turn face down. Alternatively, the Queen of Hearts might turn face up and the Queen of Diamonds might wish to stand out by f turning face down. If the Queen of Diamonds was face up, then maybe it would be the Queen of Clubs or finally, if the Queen of Clubs was to turn face up, it could be the Queen of Spades, which is really quite weird because actually all four cards are face up. How could they stand out from the rest of the pack? Well, one way would be to change the colour of the clothes that they wear. But would they really be that different to the rest of the pack? Aren't they all red as well? There is one particular card that I would like to focus on though before I finish. There it is, it's this one here. It references the fact that I'm going to be in Accountex from the 13th to the 14th of May. I'll be on stand 698, bookmark Lee. And you can come and hear me at 10 past 2 in the Intuit Theatre on Wednesday the 13th or at 4 o'clock on Thursday the 14th in the main keynote theatre. By the way, this card, you know what it is, don't you? This card that really stands out, it's the Queen of Hearts.